Hello, this is Evelyn Malik, Lady of the Realm, and I am here to share my thoughts on tonight's is programming, particularly that of, of I believe, celebrity wife swap. And I have to say, I thought it was good. Basically, yes. I think it was about time someone put Joan Rivers in her place. And finally, someone realized someone like Bristol, with her mom the way she is, who I had no idea how to raise children because um, I hate saying this. She ended up with one being pregnant. You know, I don't like to blame her, but it's still kind of like, you know, if you're. You could still be proud of your daughter, just. Honey, no. It's. I don't think I would want her to embarrass her daughter. Nor do I think I would think they should make a scene out of her, nor hide her, but I guess it's really hard to decide what I would do with her since I had no children of my own, but I sure as hell would not have been saying, Oh, we are so happy our daughter got pregnant. Yeah, I would never say it. In this day and age where you can purchase the necessary stuff to avoid that said mishap a teen pregnancy I think it's a good thing I don't think it's a good thing to see your daughter be pregnant however I'm really happy about it. I mean it would have been one thing to be happy about it over 20 years ago I mean over 60 years ago, where that would have just been like, yeah, suck it up, deal with it. <laughs> I mean, you can't always control what. Sorry. Giant as hell. Anyways, you can't always. You can't always choose when that stuff happens, you know? I mean,. I'm sure if I had a daughter and I got pregnant, I mean, I had a daughter, I mean, think about it. If you are if you are a child who has had other kids, who has lived in a family with other children, and then hearing your parents saying, Oh, sweetie, I'm going to have another baby. When you already have, like, six siblings... I mean, it's not that the baby wouldn't be, I wouldn't, it wouldn't be that you wouldn't want to let a new baby in, it's just, of course, they're going to call the baby a miracle, a darling, a wonder can, everything like that. Even a blessing. A God-given blessing. It's like, you know, Whatever I want, well, anyways, back, I'm sorry. Ugh, sorry. Anyways, I usually don't like reality shows, and almost together. I hate every single one that has been out. There are only a few exceptions, and that's like Duck Dynasty, where I just think they're silly. Mm -hmm. And I even though I do think that's a form of exploitation, and I think it's a little unfair that they got doing stupid stuff. I mean, I pretty much want to... These are people you actually want to meet in public, just to see if they're really like that. However, it would probably be a depressing thing, because, you know, it's just what it is. However, I liked it. I liked how... I guess Bristol finally got Joan Rivers to be, I don't know, what, what is that word, that, where it, humble? Yes, is a god out there, 
There is a there is a god up there. And they finally got um I think Bristol finally have um even this in her life where yeah, she's raising a child. But this little, you know, brat of a child isn't allowed to get away with as much as he used to. And they started doing like this little sticker thing, which actually is a pretty smart move, because I guess every time he behaved, he gets sticker and he gets put it on his little sticker pad. Good for him. And I guess they've given him a treat or something. I like that. I so I like that. I'm not usually into watching any show where they're trying to rear kids in because it's like this is a terrible way to get children to behave. I mean I don't watch Scared Straight because I think sometimes it's all well and good to punish children but I don't like to watch children suffer, okay? I just don't. I don't even like Teen Mom for that matter. I just don't like to watch people suffer, okay? Bad things happen to people already in the real world as it is. We don't need even worse stuff happening on reality shows, okay? Um, I just thought it was a good pairing. And it was one of the very few reality shows I've watched. Where I'm like, yes! And it's also a great thing for Wife Swap. Because that show... Or except to begin with. I mean, I try to imagine it in my position. But I'm not going to talk much about my position, mind you. <laughs> but try to imagine being an only child who had an only parent. And then swapping out with a parent who has had like six kids and another parent to depend on. Yeah, that's going to be a wonderful position. And to be it. I, and don't get me wrong. I will admit to not being the world's most perfect daughter. Okay? I'm not. No one really is. However, and I, I'm sure there'd be ways to fix it, but I try to imagine what kind of mother that's going to be. I really hope it's a good mom. Um, but I also hope this is a mother who understands well, maybe that parent may not allow that daughter to in on things and helping around the house for her own reasons at the same time. Maybe. And it's not that the daughter hasn't tried to help out. Sure, the daughter tries. And mother always gets mad because she's always like, no, oh, that's not how you do it. That's not how you do it. Yeah. And don't get me wrong. It's not saying the parent can't have a certain way of doing things. Things in her household. But, you know, sometimes if you're going to have a method to your madness, it would help if your method to madness made sense in the first place. I'm sorry. It's just... I understand you getting mad at your daughter for having a messy room. It's one thing for a child to have a messy room out now. But if the child can find her own damn shoes amongst just a river of dirty underwear all by herself, and it's fine, clean everything, it's just that there's a river of underwear on in the middle of the floor, then don't give her such a hard time. You know, that's how she organizes, that's how she does things. It's just like, you want her to respect that. Sorry, it's just how I've looked at things. Anyways, it, it's just that I can't imagine having someone come into anyone's home and telling them how to do things and stuff. And, I mean, I've done that myself. I've gone to other people's houses and stayed over and helped and cleaned and stuff because I've looked and gone, Wow, this is a mess. And helped out. Because I feel I can't do that. I think that's disrespectful and rude. Now I can help them, which I think is far more or better to do that. Because that's just what you should do. That is just something 
I think you should do. I do not feel like you should stand there wagging your finger and judging. Because, <laughs> it's amazing how that finger comes right back at you. But, that's just my opinion. I plan on doing more videos about me talking about reality shows. This is just me talking about a TV show, okay? That's just all it was. I happened to think that was a really good episode of a terrible show that usually have And, you know, it's, it happens every once in a while. You'll get a TV show that has maybe one or two really good episodes. I mean, heck. Even though there's tons of people who complain about Captain Planet, I could probably count on one hand how many good episodes there might have been, or at least my favorites, anyways. And to why it was my favorite show. But that's for an entirely different thing. So.